Ruminants are mammals that are able to acquire nutrients from plant-based food by fermenting it in a specialized stomach prior to digestion, principally through bacterial actions. The process typically requires the fermented ingester to be regurgitated and chewed again. The process of rechewing the cud to further break down plant matter and stimulate digestion is called rumination. The word ruminant comes from the Latin ruminare, which means to chew over again. There are about 150 species of ruminants, which include both domestic and wild species. Ruminating mammals include cattle, goats, sheep, giraffes, yaks, deer, camels, llamas, antelope, and some macropods. Taxonomically, the suborder Ruminantia is a lineage of herbivorous artiodactylas that includes the most advanced and widespread of the world's ungulates. The term ruminant is not synonymous with Ruminantia. Suborder Ruminantia includes many ruminant species, but does not include tylopods and marsupials, which are technically ruminants. Explanation the primary difference between a ruminant and non-ruminant is that ruminants have a four-compartment stomach. The four parts of the stomach are the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. In the first two chambers, the rumen and the reticulum, the food is mixed with saliva and separates into layers of solid and liquid material. Solids clump together to form the cud or bolus. The cud is then regurgitated and chewed to completely mix it with saliva and to break down the particle size. Fiber, especially cellulose and hemicellulose, is primarily broken down in these chambers by microbes into the three volatile fatty acids, acetic acid, propionic acid and butyric acid. Protein and non-structural carbohydrate are also fermented. Even though the rumen and reticulum have different names, they represent the same functional space as digester can move back and forth between them. Together, these chambers are called the reticular rumen. The degraded digester, which is now in the lower liquid part of the reticular rumen, then passes into the next chamber, the omasum, where water and many of the inorganic mineral elements are absorbed into the bloodstream. After this, the digester is moved to the true stomach, the abomasum. The abomasum is the direct equivalent of the monogastric stomach, and digester is digested here in much the same way. Digester is finally moved into the small intestine, where the digestion and absorption of nutrients occurs. Microbes produced in the reticular rumen are also digested in the small intestine. Fermentation continues in the large intestine in the same way as in the reticular rumen. Only small amounts of glucose are absorbed from dietary carbohydrates. Most dietary carbohydrates are fermented into VFAs in the rumen. The glucose needed is energy for the brain and for lactose and milk fat in milk production, as well as other uses, comes from non-sugar sources, such as the VFA propionate, glycerol, lactate and protein. The VFA propionate is used for around 70% of the glucose and glycogen produced and protein for another 20%. Classification Hoffman and Stewart divided ruminants into three major categories based on their feed type and feeding habits, concentrate selectors, intermediate types, and grass roughage eaters, with the assumption that feeding habits in ruminants cause morphological differences in their digestive systems, including salivary glands, rumen size, and rumen papillae. There are also pseudoruminants, which have a three-compartment stomach instead of four-like ruminants. Camelids and Hippopotamia are well-known examples. Pseudoruminants, like traditional ruminants, are for gut fermenters and most ruminate or chew cud. However, their anatomy and method of digestion differs significantly from that of a four-chambered ruminant. Monogastric herbivores, such as rhinoceroses, horses and rabbits, are not ruminants as they have a simple single-chambered stomach. These hingeot fermenters digest cellulose in an enlarged cecum, allowing the easy digestion of fibrous materials. Abundance, distribution, and domestication, wild ruminants number at least 75 million and are native to all continents except Antarctica. Nearly 90% of all species are found in Eurasia and Africa. Species inhabit a wide range of climates and habitats. The population of domestic ruminants is greater than 3.5 billion, with cattle, sheep, 
and goats accounting for about 95% of the total population. Goats were domesticated in the Near East circa 8000 BC. Most other species were domesticated by 2500 BC either in the Near East or Southern Asia. Ruminant physiology Ruminating animals have various physiological features that enable them to survive in nature. One feature of ruminants is their continuously growing teeth. During grazing, the silica content in forage causes abrasion of the teeth. This abrasion is compensated for by continuous tooth growth throughout the ruminant's life, as opposed to humans or other non-ruminants, whose teeth stop growing after a particular age. Most ruminants do not have upper incisors. Instead they have a thick dental pad to thoroughly chew plant-based food. Rumin microbiology, vertebrates lack the ability to hydrolyze the beta-1-4 glycosidic bond of plant cellulose due to the lack of the enzyme cellulase. Thus ruminants must completely depend on the microbial flora, present in the rumen or hinge gut, to digest cellulose. Digestion of food in the rumen is primarily carried out by the rumen microflora, which contains dense populations of several species of bacteria, protozoa, sometimes yeasts and other fungi. It is estimated that 1 milliliter of rumen contains 10 to 50 billion bacteria, 1 million protozoa as well as several yeasts and fungi. As the environment inside a rumen is anaerobic, most of these microbial species are obligate or facultative anaerobes that can decompose complex plant material, such as cellulose, hemicellulose, starch, and proteins. The hydrolysis of cellulose results in sugars, which are further fermented to acetate, lactate, propionate, butyrate, carbon dioxide and methane. During grazing, ruminants produce large amounts of saliva, Estimates range from 100 to 150 liters of saliva per day for an adult cow. The role of saliva is to provide ample fluid for rumen fermentation and to act as a buffering agent. Rumen fermentation produces large amounts of organic acids and thus maintaining the appropriate pH of rumen fluids is a critical factor in rumen fermentation. Tannin toxicity in ruminant animals Tannins are phenolic compounds that are commonly found in plants. Found in the leaf, bud, seed, root, and stem tissues, tannins are widely distributed in many different species of plants. Tannins are separated into two classes, hydrolyzable tannins and condensed tannins. Depending on their concentration and nature either class can have adverse or beneficial effects. Tannins can be beneficial, having been shown to increase milk production, wool growth, ovulation rate, and lambing percentage as well as reducing bloat risk and reducing internal parasite burdens. Tannins can be toxic to ruminants, in that they precipitate proteins, making them unavailable for digestion, and they inhibit the absorption of nutrients by reducing the populations of proteolytic rumin bacteria. Very high levels of tannin intake can produce toxicity that can even cause death. Animals that normally consume tannin-rich plants can develop defensive mechanisms against tannins, such as the strategic deployment of lipids and extracellular polysaccharides that have a high affinity to binding to tannins. Religious importance The law of Moses in the Bible only allowed the eating of mammals that had cloven hooves and that chew the cud, a stipulation preserved to this day in Jewish dietary laws. Other uses The verb to ruminate has been extended metaphorically to mean to ponder thoughtfully or to meditate on some topic. Similarly, Ideas may be chewed on or digested. Chew the cud is to reflect or meditate. In psychology, rumination refers to a pattern of thinking, and is unrelated to digestive physiology. Ruminants and climate change. Methane is produced by the bacteria described above within the rumen, and this methane is released to the atmosphere. The rumen is the major site of methane production in ruminants. Methane has 23 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide and its production by ruminants contribute to the greenhouse effect and climate change. In 2010, intric fermentation accounted for 43% of the total greenhouse gas emissions from all agricultural activity in the world. The meat from ruminants has a higher carbon equivalent footprint than other meats or vegetarian sources of protein based on a global meta-analysis of life cycle assessment studies. Methane production by animals, principally ruminants, 
is estimated 15 to 20 percent global production of methane. See also, monogastric, pseudoruminant, references. External links, Digestive Physiology of Herbivores, Colorado State University.